What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Two Picks. I'm your favorite backyard pit master, Bruce, and we're going to be doing something today that's very popular and I haven't done for you guys. We're going to be doing beer can chicken. If you want it juicy, you want the seasons to sit in, try this recipe. You won't be disappointed. Let's get right to it. Now, I have all your essentials laid out here on the board. I'm going to show you some things I'm going to be using today. Now, you can use anything you want for this, but the key things you're going to be needing today, you need a beer can chicken stand right here. You need one of your favorite beers. Today, I'm going to be doing Mexican style cerveza by Shiner. So I'm going to be using that today. Also, I'm going to be using a chicken injection. Now, you can brine it if you want, but I'm choosing to inject it today. I'm going to use for my rub, I'm using Cajun Creole Garlic Butter by Heath Ross. Now, I have some things already, you know, mixed up. I have my injection mixed up already. For aromatics, I'm going to have some parsley. I got some rosemary. I got some thyme. I got some garlic. I got a small sweet onion. And I got a lemon for a slice of lemon to put, in, put inside the cavity of the chicken. Now, of course, what you need, you need your bird right here, okay? Let's go ahead and get it prepped up. Now, I already, you know, prepped this bird prior to this video, okay? I cleaned it up. Got some of my, you know, fat pockets all that here. So, now we're going to go ahead and get it seasoned up. Now, I've already got my injection mixed up. That is the first thing we want to do. So, let's go ahead and get some injection going. Got my little trigger injection right here. I'll leave links to that if you want it. Now, let's go ahead and get this in here. Pull up it real slow. Okay, got a full two. Think about this. I'm gonna put one hand in here like a baseball glove and I'm gonna be going right here beside the breast. It's got holes in this needle. So I'm gonna pull out real slow, okay? Do the same for the other side. Kind of go in front of the breast. Go throughout. Pull back real slow. Saw it puff up a little bit. That's what you want. Okay. Do your legs. Now, this is not a sharp needle for this type. So, you're going to have to, you know, use a little strength. Put it on the back of the leg. Do the same for the other side. You want to get in there for these type of needles, you want to get it all the way in there or you can be squirting your face all over you. I like to get in in wings. Wings are a little small, but hey, I like to get the flavor in there also. Now, it might be a little tough to get in there. Find a spot. There we go. Go ahead and get that in there. It's going to puff up a little bit. Now, you see the injection running out? I'm going to use that for my binder, okay? Go ahead. Get in there until you puff up. Now, of course, my wife, she loves the thighs. I'm gonna be putting that in the thighs until it puffs up. Get the other side. There we go. And that's it, okay? That's all we got left. Go ahead and turn this back over. Whatever rub came out, not rub, whatever injection came out, just rub it all over your bird, okay? That's gonna be used as your binder today, like I said. You can use olive oil, you can use, uh, you know, maybe cooking spray. I would use the olive oil cooking spray if you get that, okay? Put that all over just like that. Now, I'm gonna take off one of these gloves, okay? And I'm gonna grab my rub, and I'm gonna put my hand in here like it's a baseball glove, kind of grab on the rib cage right there, open my rub up, Start with the back. Get your seasoning all over there. You see how that's sticking real good? That's what you want. Get in that cavity a little bit right here. Come up a little higher. Get your rub all on the back of those wings. Get it on the legs. And don't be shy with it, okay? Now, for some of you people that can't stand the salt, got high blood pressure, Use a little bit less or use a rub that you prefer. It doesn't matter. We're trying to get all the flavor on that. Don't they look pretty? There it is right there. Now, I'm going to try to be careful with this because I don't want to knock under that rub off. Get it on that little, that's what we call the, call the booty right there. All right, that's the booty of the chicken. 
I don't like that little piece. It's got a lot of little fat in it. There it is. Now, whatever I missed, I'm going to be putting that on once I get it on this rack. So go ahead and get your rack ready. I'm going to take this other hand and I'll wash it. Okay, just make sure you get it clean. I'm going to open this bird up. Set it right on top. Just like that. Okay, that's all you gotta do. Go ahead and take the bottle. If I missed any spots, you wanna hit the top. I know I'm making a mess, hot guys, but hey, we'll clean it up. I want that even coating. And that's what you want, just like that. Now, let's go outside. I got my smoker going. Let's go ahead and get it on there, because hey, everybody's waiting to eat in this house. So I gotta get this food on. Come out with me. All right, guys, now we're back here at the smoker. I got the beer can chicken sitting right here. I got my master built gravity smoker I'm gonna be using today. I got that sitting at 350, I already got it lit up for y'all. We're gonna be using a couple chunks of pecan. I got it layered with some charcoal, pecan, layered all through there. And now, I forgot to tell you something now, this is key. Now you can do this, this is an option, or you can do the beer by itself. You need to have a room temperature beer, okay? Room temperature, if it's too cold, it is not going to cook your chicken evenly on the inside. Another thing I did, I took some of those aromatics, that garlic, that rosemary, that thyme, that parsley, and I put it inside the can, along with a little bit of barbecue rub, okay? I took the time to do that. You don't have to do that, but that's what I did. Now the rest of this aromatic stuff, I'm gonna be putting in the cavity, okay? So I'm gonna take the rest of that rosemary, parsley, and all that rest, little leaves right here put it inside the cavity throw some of that sweet onion in there okay got a little sweet onion throw a little more garlic up in there and throw lemon up in here okay lemon slice not a whole lemon just a lemon slice and then let's go ahead take this glove off open the smoker now we're going to be putting that right here on the center go ahead and give it a close Come back in about 30 minutes, we'll check it. Might base it with a little butter to see how my rub has been sitting on my skin. And if it hasn't set like I want to, I'll wait a little bit and baste it. But it should take about an hour and a half to two hours to cook this at a 350. We'll just bring it off whenever we think it's done. Stay tuned for that. We'll come back out here and check it in a minute. All right, so this chicken has been on here about 45 minutes. I wanted to wait until the skin got a little crispy on the top and my rub didn't rub off you can do that by touching it so i got a little butter a little of my rub i used and i got some lemon in there i've been having on this little smoker just to get it melted and we're going to base that with some butter to give it a little more color so what you want to do get your little brush up in here and you want to kind of dab it over and you want to that's why you want to wait until the skin, you know, and the rub on there sets in. That's what you want to wait on. Man, look at that. Get it all over there. I love this brush right here. Now be careful, that's why we got it in a pan. We don't want to create any fires. Get it on the back, get it on the thighs. Just like that. Get it all over. There it is, that's nice. Looking good. So after that, you know, we'll close it down, let it get a little more, little more color. Come back in about 30 minutes and I wanna check the temp on it, okay? Now throughout, I don't have to show that on video. I might check the temp a little earlier, but hey, uh, do as you want, just fill it out. You know, you wanna make sure, we're gonna bring it up to about 162, let it rest when we pull it off and that should bring up the temperatures a little bit. All right, so let's get it closed and we'll come back and check it. All right, guys, so we're out here back at the smoker. It's been about 15, 20 minutes. Now I wanna temp it. The thermometer I'm using today was sent over me by a company called List Time, the digital thermometer, and here it is right here, okay? I'm gonna be using it now. I do have my thermo pen, but you know, this looks pretty neat, real light in the hand. Um, it is magnetized right there, you can see it, okay? And it has a little list on the back in case you don't know what your temperature should be 
depending on what kind of protein you're using. So let's go ahead and break this out. Now, pop it out, it automatically comes on, okay? Now look at that. As you can see, okay, I threw some salmon on from a dollar, okay? Some cedar plank, she needs that for the week. She wants me to, uh, you know, meal prep for her. And we're gonna go ahead, put this right here, down here in the thickest part of the breast. Looking about 149, 148, okay? Let's go ahead and test these thighs or legs. 152, go ahead and test these, 150, okay, so almost even around cooking, I can say, my wings are not burning too much, we're going to go ahead and close it up, and hopefully when we come back, it should be already ready done and pull off the smoker. Alright guys, so I think it's time to tempt this and get this bad boy off, it's actually 6.57, almost 7 o'clock, I put this on about 5.15ish, so about a, almost two hours you know so let's go ahead and look open it up what we're gonna do is go to go back into that breast 167 I come out a little bit thick part 166 here's the very front of this different temps all over of course 166 okay looking good let's go back into that leg try not to touch the bone Okay, 166. There we go. Get into the meat. 164. 168, 169. Go back here behind the thighs. 185. Okay, so I think this is about ready. Let's go on the other side. Make sure. 168. Okay, so we're going to take this off. And like I said, it's going to come up a few more temperatures than some of the other parts. Hey. I think I'm ready to cut into this. Let's go inside. So we're back inside. We got the beer can chicken off the smoker. Man, I cannot wait to get into this. Let's go ahead and look at this. Look at the skin on this. Oh man, crispy. That's gonna be good. All the juices, the butter, nice little orange color, not deep red. You can, you know, that depends on your rub. So let's go ahead and get this off the rack. Let's get it on the cutting board. Set this off to the side. Go ahead and give it a good lift. Now you can, sometimes it'll get stuck in there. I just kind of use my bottom fingers to kind of carefully get it out. Ooh wee. Man, now I'm gonna give this a good cut. Let's take a look at this. Let's see the juices run out of that. That's gonna look good. Cuts right through that skin. Oh man. Look at that. Look at the juice running out of that. That looks real good. Take some of that skin with me. Woo, skin comes off. Take some of this little butter I got, mix it up with that lemon and that rub, hit it all over that, just like that. Ooh wee, watch that run down. Put a little bit on, on the chicken. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mmm, mmm. Man, that's good. Real juicy. I can taste that, that beer flavor in there. Hey, I guess it's time to eat. Everybody's waiting to eat in the house. To tell, whew, man, y'all, this is good. I had that made me stutter. Until next time, if you're looking for more videos on how to barbecue, how to grill outdoors, hey, this is your favorite backyard pit master, Bruce. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Toothpicks. Mm. Mm.